Hey guys, I'm back. Here's another reading. So let's see how does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? And what action is he going to be taking? It looks like he's trying to level up. So let's see what's going on. Give me a message. Tell me how this Divine Masculine feels about Divine Feminine. Let me turn the cards to where you guys can see them. This masculine understands, re has recognized that he needs to do some work on himself. Okay, like you've made this person recognize that they need to go do some shadow work. This person is very dark. They got a dark energy, real, real dark energy to them. They have a lot of guilt and shame and grief that they don't talk about. Um, they, I'm getting like they have to go, 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 go. And they've been like this since they were a child. Like to kind of like block out certain energies and keep it pushing, keep it moving type of energy. Never stopping to actually do any work. They just jump from one situation to the next situation. And I feel like this masculine is now realizing that they need to do some work on themselves. Okay. And I hope you, I feel like you have helped this masculine realize that. Divine Feminine, yep. Just like I said, you have helped this masculine realize you got some big dreams or some big goals that you want to accomplish. This has made this masculine, maybe you're living out your dreams. You're doing, you're going towards, you've done it in the work, so you're being rewarded. This masculine sees that. And this masculine is like, well, maybe I need to make some changes to myself. What do I need to do? You're making them look at themselves. Yep, signs. They've been getting signs that it's time to take a new direction, okay? So they have, this person, this masculine here, I, I felt that. Like, they're trying to level up in some way, shape, or form. They're, they're going through some type of transformation here. So this masculine is going through some type of transformation. And I feel like you have inspired them to go through some type of transformation. So let's see what's going on. masculine feel about divine feminine tell me more about this masculine this masculine ones he going through some type of transformation or something what's going on with this masculine i just saw the strength card okay the king of swords so this person this masculine being kind of cold towards you <laughs> like stern straight cold I'm getting this masculine feels like you're mirroring I feel like y'all could be mirroring each other's energy okay so this masculine wants to speak some type of truth to you about, about the past but they feel like it's a risk I feel like, is it a risk that they're willing to take? We got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So this person, you could be a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be any sign, but this is the signs that are sticking out. Or an Aries. This this masculine says that they need to speak up and start, start being more truthful. Okay? About something that happened in the past. It looks like they're having a judgment moment in... They're going through an awakening. This masculine is going through some type of awakening. You've triggered some type of awakening in this masculine. This masculine feels like they need to man up and tell the truth. Here's his energy right here with the emperor. But I feel like y'all been marrying each other. Because look, king of swords, queen of swords right here. So y'all both are marrying each other. You see how their backs are turned from one another? 
I'm getting this very cold energy. Like he's being cold, you're being cold, but somewhere in the middle, some communication needs to happen and some truth needs to be spoken. Wow. This masculine, I'm going to put this out there because this is what I see. This masculine started an argument with you on purpose so you guys could break up and they could leave because they wanted to go towards another situation. They, they wanted to give this offer, this Knight of Cups offer to somebody else. And it was because of the sex, the devil and the Knight of Wands. They went to where something was more temporary or fun or, you know, strictly sex. I'm hearing don't see it happening no time soon. Wish waiting for something else to come along. Okay. So this masculine definitely they I feel like they ditched this connection to go towards something else. That was a fling. Devil and the Knight of Wands is definitely sex only type of connection. Very easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> very uh low vibrational toxic and where he can come in and leave and come and go as he pleases okay This masculine know that they need to tell the truth, tell you the truth about what happened. Y'all need, they know that y'all need to talk about what happened. Okay, something definitely happened. And why um, he did not do the right thing at the time. He didn't do something right. He made a real funny decision. Yeah, he want to talk about why why he wanted to cut you off about something in the past. But he didn't feel like you was going to understand where he was coming from at the time. So, he just took what came with it. Yep, side piece. The moon and the, the empress and the six of swords. He couldn't wait. He couldn't wait to drop the situation at the time. He said because he know you ain't going to do nothing about it. So what you gonna do about it? And then the five of cups just want to jump. Now he's sitting there having regrets. He said you ain't gonna do not a damn thing about it. So that's why he did it. It's like, well, okay, what, what can you do about it? Yep. Now he thinks that y'all should talk about what happened. There was a separation. Three of swords and the four. Four of Swords. There was a se separation here. Yep. The tower. The tower hit, and then y'all been separated ever since. Now, I feel like... Some of y'all done made some new friends, made some new connections. So they're sitting back watching. They're trying to figure out who are these new connections? Who are these other people? I'm hearing this person say, think that you made these friends after it ended, okay? Yeah, I'm here asking who the, who these people is. Seven of Cups. This, per this person had a lot of options, okay? They had a lot of women who um, cared about them, who was in love with them at the time. They didn't, they wasn't sure that if you knew that or not. But this masculine said they wanted to give you closure. 
They know it, this mask knew you was gonna be mad at him. But he didn't take it that serious. But at the time, it just didn't seem like the right thing to do. At the time, he's saying it just didn't seem like it didn't feel right. It didn't seem right. Okay. So. Yes, this person is definitely stalking you. They're stalking you. This the page of swords and the nine of wands stalking the energy. This person is keeping their eye on you for sure, for sure. They're trying to dig up information on you. I'm hearing what you're trying to say. He said, oh, thank you trying to prove a point. <laughs> this masculine is petty and childish. This masculine is very childish. Y'all have not spoken. I don't see any communication between you and this person. Y'all have not been around each other at all. This person is feeling like, you know, how are we going to work on the connection? We don't even talk. This person child could be trying to force you to talk. Um... But I, I just see this person as being like, why are they watching you so so hard? Why is that? It's the ones here. This person, you felt like this person didn't think that you could do something. Um, they always try to take the credit for what everything that you've always done. To try to show off and make it seem like he had something going when all the whole time it could have been you doing everything. But this person I always took the credit for it. <laughs> Watch out for this masculine. Because even though that this masculine is going through some type of, of awakening, this masculine I'm hearing you not going nowhere. I'm hearing you not going nowhere. <laughs> I'm hearing you not going anywhere. Also, be careful. Pay attention. If this person comes back into your life, you allow this person back in. Pay close attention to your money, your finances, and your bank account. Because this person kind of giving me like sneaky type of energy. This person does kind of want to like slow you down in some way, shape, or form. They kind of make you regret. Uh putting a relationship on hold okay this person is trying to make you regret putting a connection on hold and they're also keeping an eye on this connection now this person could be pretending that they have gone through some type of awakening or going through some type of um change to get you to talk they see you going through uh you've adjusted made some type of changes and things are working for you so they could come around you to make you feel like they've made some changes as well um i don't feel like this person is very honest and truthful at all i don't think this person is trustworthy at all so be sure that you pay close attention to this person comes back around have your antennas up use this, your sense of discernment and pay attention to the signs okay so that's what I got, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.